what's up? It's Lindsay here with Jim Ra. I have a mat fusion workout for you today. It's gonna be a lot of moving. It's gonna feel a little bit dancey, you could say, and we're gonna tone up the entire body. You just need one weight. You can also do it without a weight. I'd suggest anywhere from two to five pounds. I'm gonna use a three, so we're gonna warm it on up. We're gonna start in a mermaid position. So you'll have your right leg in front, knee in line with ankle, left leg in back at this 90 degree bend, knee in line with hip. The further your leg comes forward, the easier the leg work is. So I want you to keep that leg back. It's more fun that way. Here we go, we're gonna warm it up. Stretch your arms out to the sides. On your inhale, stretch up and over to the right. Lean into it, grow long. And then exhale through center and stretch up and over to the left. We're gonna take it side to side. Good. Begin to breathe, deepen that breath. I'd rather you stretch long rather than thinking of a crunch in your waist. Good, give me one more over to the left. And then coming to center, stretch your arms out to a T. You'll flex your palms back, lift your heart up. And then exhale, round your back, tuck your hips. And again, flex your palms, lift your chest. And draw your belly button in and back as you round forward. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, round the spine. Kind of like those cat cow motions in your back. Last one, rounding forward, and then lift your arms up to this big fifth position. We're gonna pour to bras. So big circles around the middle of your body. We're gonna go both directions. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. Just trying to get movement in that upper back. Scoop forward, and then lift the heart to the ceiling. Last one, and then give me it on the reverse. Belly back chest up and warming up that spine here our last two and last one all the way around and let's do it we're gonna grab this three to five pound weight in your left hand right hand to the floor stretch your arm all the way across your body and then reach it all the way to the back left corner reach it to the front right corner and back left corner Good, lengthen through your fingertips so we create those nice long muscles that we're all after. Good. We're gonna burn out the whole left side of the body and then move on to the right. Good, pick up the tempo just a little bit. Good. Long, long arm. And let's do five. And four. For three and two. Last one, stretch it over to the left, flip the palm to the ceiling. We're going bicep curl, flip the arm, tricep press, flip the wrist. Bicep curl, flip the arm, tricep press, and flip the wrist. So a lot of rotation here. It's a light weight, so I want you to isometrically engage. What does that mean? It means you're trying to show me your bicep muscle and show me your tricep muscle. So you're flexing that muscle, your self. Even if you don't have a weight, you should be able to feel the engagement of that arm. Good, curl it in, press it back. Curl it in, press it back. Again, think long arm as you lengthen. Couple more here, we're gonna let it burn. High reps today, low weight or no weight on those legs, so keeping that intensity up is gonna mean lots of repetitions. Hopefully you didn't roll your eyes at that. <laughs> Give me two more, last two. Final one, press it up. Bend it into this goal post shape. You're gonna lower the arm down, lift the arm up. Press the arm back in space as you lift it up. Kind of like you're slapping the back of your hand to the wall behind you. And notice what's happening with this shoulder. Let it rest down your back. Starting to feel that burn here. But that's what we're after. Good, go for six and five, for four and three, two, and one. Angle your arm so where it's at where the wall and the ceiling would meet. Stretch up, pull back, stretch up, pull back. Good thing, shoulder blade to spine. Reach, pull back. Go for that extension, no bend in the elbow, and then drag it back. We're going eight, starting to shake, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, hold it bent and lower it to a parallel position to the ground and pulse it back and back and back. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, woo, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake that side out. The weight is coming down. We're going to move into our leg work. First one is a standing split, so watch me if it gets a little confusing. Hands come to the mat. You'll lift your left leg up. Press it back. You're going to sweep your left leg forward. One hand on each side of the left leg. Stretch your right leg up. Big standing split. Back to your mermaid position. Same position we started with. Sweep your left leg up. Back, squeeze your tush, sweep it forward, plant your hands down, standing split, fold into your standing leg. Mermaid position, press your left leg back, squeeze your glute. Come on up and stretch into a split. And then just continue to flow. But every time, find more length as you come up into that standing split, reaching your top leg, toes stretching to the ceiling, reaching your face, towards your bottom legs knee. Right, just warming those legs up now. I know this is our warm up move. A bit dynamic. Start to get the heart rate up. Stretch out those muscles. Okay, a couple more here. Squeeze your toes as you press that left leg back. And then stretch your right leg to the ceiling. Give me three more for three. Good. Point that foot when it's in the air for two. Got this beach hair going on. Last one. Stretch that right leg up and then come back to your mermaid position. Right leg, knee in line with ankle, left knee in line with hip, fingertips lightly on the mat. We're going to lift our left leg up and press it back. Lift and press. Starting to find the first burn in that left leg, working your outer hip as you lift and your seat as you press back. Lift up press back. If this is an intense position for you, you can always modify by coming down to your forearm, but that's only if it's chal too challenging. If it's just hard, you need to stick with it. That's how we make those changes. It's got to be challenging. Good. Make sure that your knee is staying back behind your hip. Abs are engaged. Lift up, press back. Lift up, press back. Nice work, guys. Lift and press. Ooh, I'm starting to get a little shake. I know it's working. Lift up, press back. Give me eight, seven. Lift and press, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming to all fours, same leg's gonna stay working. The weight's gonna go in the right hand. Your left leg is gonna come up to a hover. I'm gonna punch my right arm overhead plant the arm down, turn my left knee out, kick it left, bend the knee, lower it just to a hover, try not to rest it. Extend that right arm overhead, turn the left knee out, kick, bend, lower just to that hover. Let's start to find that pace. Punch, turn out, extend, bend, and lower. Keep it at that hover if you can, just adding a little bit more core work here. Punch, abs in and up. Good. Reach to the wall above you and then finding that full extension. We really want this left knee to be to the side of the hip and not behind the body. Turn out and squeeze. We're getting those abductors this morning. Good. AKA those saddlebags. And give me a couple more. Let's do three. Turn out, kick, and lower, and two. Last one right here. Good, now the weight's gonna go behind the back of your left leg. Draw your heel to your butt. You gotta squeeze that weight like you mean it. Reach your right arm overhead, turn your left knee out, lift it up. And then you're gonna bring your right elbow to the inside of your left knee, lift your arm and leg up. Stay in the turned out position, working your hamstring by pulling your heel to your glute. Good. Inhale, lift it up, and exhale, draw it in. I want to see a high extension, but not a lot of movement from your low back. So it's not so high that something looks like this here. So hold your core muscles in. 
So draw it in, lift it up. Draw it in and lift it up. Good. Let's go for five. And four. Not losing that weight. We got one more move with it. For three. And two. And one. Plant your right hand down. Go parallel with your left leg. Lower it to the mat. We're going up for three. Two. Squeeze all up on one, lower it down, tuck your right toes, find a plank. Going up for three, two, one, come back to kneeling. Up for three, two, one, lower it down, find your plank. Up for three, two, squeezing that glute at the top and then coming down. Three lifts, finding that high, medium, and low level on every count. Awesome, stick with me. Stay strong in that upper body. Try not to lose the weight. If you're having a hard time keeping that weight there, it means you need to activate your hamstring by pulling your heel towards your tush. Nice work, guys. Stick with me. We're going up, up, and up. Take it down, find your plank, lift, lift, and lift, take it down. Couple more right here. Getting that booty work. Change from the side of the hip to that glute and hamstring. Getting the back of the leg. All right, let's do three more. Good, and plank. And kneeling up for three, two, one, take it down to plank. And take it down. That's our last one. I want you to just hold that leg up and pulse it up. Hunch your glute to the ceiling. Push that heel to the side. Squeeze to lift. Notice my low back is not moving at all. We want to keep this in our butt, not our spine. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Give me 10, nine, eight, keep it higher. You got it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push it up to a plank and let's pulse it. Up and up. Squeeze to lift. Really contract the heel towards the back of your body. We want that whole leg working. Up and up. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're taking it down. Just place the weight aside, but we're not quite done with the leg. You'll turn your knees in, kind of like your knock knee. Flex your left foot, stamp your left foot up to the ceiling, toes and knee point down. Lower the knee down, we're coming back into a plank. This time point your right toe, your left toes and lift it up. Bend your knee, flex your left foot, press it to the sky. Bend your knees, tap it down, lift up to plank. Straight leg lifts and lowers. Bend, flex and stamp, plank, straighten and lift. It's a little bit of a combination. Just keep practicing it, you'll get it. Every time you do this video, you'll know the move. It'll become a little bit more fun. Good, we're really feeling that left seat. And lift, flex and stamp, knee taps, lengthen and lift. Bonus arm work by pressing up into that plank. Okay, give me five more. We got five. How's that butt feeling? <laughs> Mine's burning. And that was four. That's three. You know there's something good coming. For two. Last one. Good, bring it back to kneeling, knees turns in, lift that leg up and pump it up towards the sky. Squeeze that tush, push, push, push. Full extension of that leg, going up and up. Can you lift it higher? Can you straighten it a little more? You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, up, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Plank, straight leg and pulse it. Just give me 10, nine, eight, 
seven, stay up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. We're gonna take it straight over to the other side. Let's just take this weight over to the left. You're gonna bring your left leg in front, knee in line with ankle, right leg in back, knee in line with hip. Starting with our side bends. Inhale, stretch up and over to the left and to the right. Let's make this one a little bit more fluid and dynamic. We're already pretty warm. Good, one more left and right. Good, and to our back bends. Flex your palms, lift your heart, and then round and tuck. Flex and open, round and tuck. Now, if you guys needed more of a challenge, I would suggest something like an ankle weight or a heavier dumbbell. Only if you're feeling like it. Arms up to fifth, little port de bras circles, feeling this circular movement around your rib cage. And reverse other side. The last one here. And come center. We're gonna start with our arm work on side two. So you're just gonna grab the weight, place it into your right hand. Left fingertips on the mat. Are you ready? Here we go. Anchor your shoulders, draw your belly button in. We're gonna punch the arm across the body to the left corner of the room, and then punch the arm across the body to the back right corner. Good, on the diagonal, forward and back. Remember, long extension, beautifully defined arms. So you wanna stretch and strengthen them at the same time. Nice work, guys. Keep on moving. Whatever you do, do not let your arm drop. If you need to put the weight down for a second, put it down, but get right back into it. Good, let's do eight more. We've got eight. And seven. This arm's a little warm already. Six, five, four, just three, for two, and one. Reach it to the side, flip the palm up. You're gonna go bicep curl with a flex. Flip the arm and press. Bicep curl, tricep press. Just make sure as you fatigue that this right shoulder stays down because as we get tired, the alignment can get a little sacrificed and I don't want you to get injured. Good, curl, flex that bicep, press, flex that tricep. Woo! Either this arm is not as strong or it's tired from all those planks. Good, curl it in and press it up. Finding that focus right here. Stick with that goal you have in mind. Whenever you turned on this workout video today, we wanna keep that in mind, especially when we start to get tired. Just gotta remind ourselves why we started. Good, let's do four more. Four, and three. Woo, the burn for two. Last one, curl, press, and goal pose. We're gonna flip the arm down, press the arm back. Flip down, press back. Good. Stick with that. Good. And press. Good, like you're pressing the back of your arm into the wall behind you. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Angle the arm to where the wall and the ceiling meet. Reach up, pull back. Reach up, pull back. You got this. Stay with me. I'm burning too. We're in it together, but we're in it to win it. We're gonna get through this. Good, draw that shoulder blade to the spine as you pull back. Give me six, five, four, three, two, one. Angle your arm, palm down and pull it back. We're just gonna pulse it out to finish. Shoulder blade squeezes, elbow lifted. Try to keep it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two and one. Oh my gosh, second side. So much harder. Okay, we got our standing splits. Just place the weight aside. And here we go, you're gonna lift your right leg up, push it back behind you, squeeze your glute. Circle it in front of you, one hand on each side of that right foot, and reach your left leg up to the ceiling. 
So we're going for that stretch and that length of the muscles here. Opening up hamstrings, inner thighs. And I definitely want you to squeeze your glutes as you come into the standing split position. So when you stretch your left leg up to the ceiling, squeeze your butt. Okay, circle it back, squeeze your right glute, standing split, squeeze your left glute. Okay, press back, circle it around, fold into that standing leg, each time getting deeper into that flexibility. Good, couple more here. Okay, let's go for four. Nice work, guys, for three. Good, last two deepest ones yet. Last one right here. Good, fold into your right leg, bring it back down to your mermaid position. Left knee in line with foot, right knee in line with hip. Try not to bring it forward, light fingertip grip. We're gonna lift up, press back. Lift up, press back. Now, this right side's gonna be a little tired because it did a lot of stabilizing on the last side, which we don't really realize until this moment in time when we're already like, huh, this first exercise feels a lot harder than the exercise on the other side. Well, that is why. It's already done a bit of work, and now we know. But that's good, that's how we're getting stronger, keeping it full body, challenging everything. Remember, if you need to modify this, you can come down to a forearm, you can walk your hands out a little further. If you need more of a challenge, I need you to sit up straighter so we can get more of this right oblique. Yep, we're working core, that's right. Give me a couple more. Can you lift that leg up higher? I'm gonna challenge myself too. Let's go for six. Outer hip and glute. Four, three, two, woo, one, and take it down. Okay, all fours position, guys. We need the weight again. It's gonna go into the left hand, right hand underneath the shoulder. Abs are in and up. You're punching your left arm overhead. Hover the right knee the whole time. Lift it up, squeeze the side hip, kick it. Bend the knee, lower it just to the hover. We punch, place it down, turn it out, extend, bend, and lower. Now even though I'm turning my knee out, I'm not really trying to turn my hips out. So avoid doing something like that, leaning over to the side. I punch, lift, kick, and lower. The lift is a controlled motion so that I can really activate the muscles in the side of my right hip right there. Beautiful, loving it. And keep that good work up. I know it's not easy, but it's totally worth it. Good, let's go a couple more. And we've got four right here. And this is three. And this is two. And this is one. Good, take that weight, place it behind the back of the right leg. Give that heel a nice squeeze in. Hands underneath shoulders, turn the right knee out, lift it up, and stretch your left arm overhead. You're gonna draw your elbow to the inside of the right knee. Lift up, turn the knee out, and squeeze the side of your butt. Make sure you rotate your left knee to face, your right knee to face the right wall. And we need to squeeze that outer hip. Pause at the top. There shouldn't be any swinging happening with your leg here. The slower and more controlled this movement is, the more you'll get into the muscles. And we're going for tone today. Muscle tone, baby. Good. Clamp that weight, squeeze your heel to your butt. And lift, make sure you're breathing. Good, let's go five more. 
and four. For three. And two. And one. Boom, both hands down, parallel with that right knee. Flex your foot. We're going up for three, up for two, up for one. We come all the way down, tuck your left toes, plank. Up for three, up for two, up for one. Come all the way down, kneeling. Up for three, up for two, up for one. Squeeze, take it down, tuck those toes, plank. Three, two, one, take it down. Nice work. Getting that big squeeze in your butt at the top. Highest range of motion without arching that low back here. And plank, think little, medium, and big. Taking it down. Keep cruising. And squeeze that weight with your heel towards your butt. Couple more to go, and then you know we got some good pulses coming at ya. Just to burn it out. Up for three, two, and one, taking it down. Up for three, two, and one. Let's do one more here. Up for three, two, and one. Hit that plank. Up for three, two, one, take it down, lift that right leg up, and just pulse it up to the ceiling. Make sure it's parallel, meaning knee faces the floor, foot is flexed, abs are in. Make sure your head's not hanging down, lift it up, stay strong, be powerful here. You got it. Lift and lift a little higher, give me ten. Nine, eight, seven, you can do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Plank and we pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven. That's it. Six, five, four. Stick with me. Three, two, one. Okay, the weight goes away, but we are not done with the legs. Knock the knees in. Knock knee. Flex your right foot. Abs in. Stamp your right foot to the ceiling. Lower it down. Tuck back into your left toes. Straighten both legs. We're in a plank. Straight leg lifts. Knees tap. Foot flexed. Stamp it up, find your plank, lengthen your legs, point your right toes and lift. Kneeling, flex and stamp, plank, lengthen, point and squeeze. Good, keep that up. Good, we're activating those abdominal muscles during our leg work, which means more bang for your buck. Time well spent, maybe a little extra ice cream on Saturday, honestly. If it wasn't for ice cream and a little wine bar near my house, I don't know if I'd work out as much. <laughs> that motivates me. Good. It's important to be healthy, but it's also important to have fun and let loose a little bit. Okay, give me four more of these. Four. And this is three. Good. Final two. And this is one. I want you to keep your leg up. Foot is flexed. We're pulsing. Stamp it to the sky. Lift it higher. Knee is turned out and pointing down. Lift and lift. Little pump up. Bend press. Bend press. That's it. Keep it up. Let's do ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Higher. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, give me that plank, point your toe, lift for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, shake it off. We're into the abs, guys. But guess what? I need you to go right back into a plank. So hands underneath your shoulders, fingers spread wide. Tuck your toes behind you. You're gonna cross your left leg underneath your right leg and turn your hips to the right. Now take your left knee to your right elbow, squeeze your tummy, and then stretch it back. Working obliques, knee to elbow, stretch it back. Give me 10, nine, eight, zip your abs up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back, switch legs, left leg, 
is on top, right leg is on bottom, turn the hips to the left, but shoulders to the floor. We got our second side, right knee, left elbow, and back. We're going nine. Don't think about it, just do it. Eight, seven, breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bada bing. Okay, let's get into some crunches. These will be fun though. So I need you to grab your one weight. Brush it off if it got sandy. And then lay down on your back. Your upper body will be centered in the center of the mat. You'll take your left leg left, cross your right leg on top of it. So your legs are kind of like in a banana shape. Weight into the left hand, right hand behind your head. I'm gonna be curled up the whole time. Twist to your right and punch your left arm across your body and then come back to center. But stay lifted. Curl up and twist and back to center. Punch and cross, back to center. Good, really rotate. Look towards your right elbow. Think of a zipper right around your belly button. Pull it up. Good, let's pick the pace up. 10, nine, eight, you got it. Seven, six, five, four. This is it. Three, two. We're going to hold on one. Hold the twist. Tap your right foot right and left. Right and left. Abs in, shoulders down. Side to side. Hold the curl, hold the twist. Both legs, right foot right, left leg crosses over, left leg left, right leg crosses over. Side to side. Think of a jumping bean. I don't know why that's what this reminds me of, but it is. Good. Right, right, left, left. Four. Keep it curled up, do not rest. Three. Two. Last one, hold your legs to the right, left leg on top, switch the arms, weight in the right hand, left hand behind your head, you're curled up. Curl up further, punch your right arm right and twist back to the center. Remember your legs are in a banana shape, so they're over to your right side of your mat and your chest is in the center. Curl up and twist. Try to get those shoulder blades up a little higher for me. Better rotating towards that left elbow. Good, give me six. And five. For four. Three. Two. Hold it on one. Just that left leg's gonna tap. Left, right. Keep the curl, keep the twist. Lift those shoulder blades off the mat. Reach through that right arm. Start to find that belly shake and both legs. Left leg left, right leg left. Right leg right, left leg right. Both left, both right. Squeeze your inner thighs. Curl up a little higher for me. You are almost done with this workout. Good. Give me four, curl up and twist. Last three, keep breathing. For two, give me that final one, strongest one yet. And one. Oh my gosh, those abs killed me. Let's stretch it out. Nice work, nice work. Okay, let's stretch it out. Sit up nice and tall, center yourself. We're gonna start with our side bends. This time we want you to really lean into your right arm. Stretch your left arm up, but make sure the left hip doesn't pop off the floor. Push it into the mat. Good. and then other side right hand up left arm down lean into it and elongate good. find that breath slow it down you did awesome and come back to center now I want you to take a nice big heart opener puff your chest up pull your arms back and then a big round shape in the spine belly to the back of the body and then reach the arms up, take your hands behind your head. Big circles forward and back. 
Put one more in this direction. And then just switch it up other side. Last one here. Good, and come to center. We're gonna do a hip stretch. So you're just gonna take your right foot, plant it on the mat, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, flex your foot. The closer you walk this right foot in, the more intense it's gonna be. If you go a little further out, you're not as flexible, that might be better for you. But I want you to make sure you're not sitting like this. Sit up straight. Oh, that feels pretty nice after all that work. Okay, release. Left foot down, right ankle over the left thigh. Flex that right foot. Hands behind your back, sit up into it. I'm a little bit more flexible, so I'm just gonna walk that left foot closer because I need this hip release as well. <sighs> Give me one more big breath here. Good. And then release and just give you ourself a hand. You killed that, I'm proud of you. I'll see you on the next one. I really hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like it. And we love your comments telling us what you loved about the workout. Thank you so much. If you would like uninterrupted workouts, if you would like to search by trainer, you can go to our website, jimmer.com, and you can filter it. You can choose different exercises. You can choose your trainers. It's awesome. Furthermore, you can also go to Shop Jimra for completely uninterrupted videos. And also we have some gear on there that you might be interested in. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate having you with us at Jimra. I'm Alice Maples and we'll see you next time.